In this video, I'd like to discuss Touchpoint Property Management maintenance process. Maintenance is one of the most important aspects of rental property management, because when you think about it, there is a direct correlation between how well the property is maintained and how well it will perform financially. Let me explain. So in order to make more profit and have the best rental experience, you want to attract the most qualified tenant in the home in the shortest amount of time. And once you have the tenant in the home, you want to make sure they stay there as long as possible and renew their lease year after year. When you do this, it'll minimize your vacancy and turnover costs, such as prolonged vacancy when you're not collecting rent and the end of lease repairs when you have when a tenant moves out and you've got to get the property ready for the next tenant. And then also tenant placement fees, which will contribute to the profitability of the property. So high qualified tenants are ones that pay their rent on time and take great care of the property. We all want high quality tenants. These are the tenants that are attracted to well-maintained properties. And inversely, lower qualified tenants have to settle for poorly maintained properties because that's all they can qualify for. So once you have a great tenant in the property, you can keep them in there longer by being responsive to the tenant and the property maintenance needs. Not to mention your property will be protected, it'll last longer, and it'll maintain its market value. So you should always think about maintenance as an investment in your property and your rental business. Here's the steps that we take here at Touchpoint to maintain your property. Once you sign up with Touchpoint, we're gonna visit the property on an ongoing basis and perform detailed evaluation and condition reports which we will use to put together a maintenance proposal to keep your property in the best condition possible within reason. Of course, we don't want to throw good money after bad. Once we have agreed upon what needs to be done in the property, our team will coordinate and handle any necessary maintenance on your behalf and keep you in the loop every step of the way. So in our lease, your tenants will be required to report any maintenance issues that they see. We, we do not automatically route a repair vendor out to the property whenever the tenant asks. First, we have two dedicated maintenance coordinators available 24 hours a day, seven days a week to evaluate the incoming service request for validity and attempt to resolve small problems over the phone by walking the tenant through troubleshooting steps and troubleshooting videos. Many times, we can resolve small issues like that at no charge at all to you or the tenant. Now, in the event that we cannot resolve the issue over the phone, we will then create a work order and route a qualified vendor out to the property to troubleshoot and fix the problem. At that point, you will automatically receive an email notification letting you know about the work order and what we're doing to resolve it. You will not need to respond as well we will follow up again after we have had, we have a good handle on the situation. We will report back to you. Wherever possible, we will use the services of a handyman over the services of an expensive general contractor or plumber or electrician. This way we can be cost conscious. All of the vendors that we work with are required to be licensed and insured and to perform quality work at fair prices. Our vendors know that if they, they, if they do not meet these standards, then they will no longer receive volume referrals from us. And it's our job to keep them compliant for your benefit. So we have service and repair vendors in every category, from small cleaning jobs, yard maintenance, HVAC repair, punch lists, and major renovations. We've got it covered. Our vendor's job is to go out to the property and report back to us the cause of the problem. If it's determined that the cause of the problem is normal wear and tear, then that's the owner's responsibility to repair. But if we determine that, there's a te that the tenant is misusing or neglecting something, we will hold the tenant responsible and they will pay the repair costs as per our lease. For an example, let's say you have a garbage disposal that broke because it's old or it has a short circuit 
or it's just simply burned out over time naturally. Well, that would be considered normal wear and tear and the owner of the property would be responsible for those repair costs. But if we find a piece of metal or chicken bone or something that doesn't belong in the garbage disposal, that would be considered misuse or neglect. And that would be considered above and beyond normal wear and tear. We would hold the tenant accountable and they would be responsible for the repair costs on that. If any repair exceeds the cost of $250, our maintenance coordinators will reach out to you with a well thought out rem uh, remediation plan in order to get an approval from you first before we proceed. Once the repairs are completed, we will pay the vendor out of your rental proceeds, or we may ask you to fund your account by logging in to your owner portal and process payment. Uh, your, owner, your owner portal will give you 24 seven around the day online access to inspection reports, financial reports, and invoices pertaining to your property for your review. So please refer to your property management proposal that's attached that we sent you and the agreement for related pricing. We like to keep the pricing very fair for your benefit. I hope that you can see that we have built this company from the ground up for owners that want to most importantly have their properties well maintained and want to be hands off during the repair process. We're going to handle everything from beginning to end. Thanks for joining me on this video.